Tonight on APTV, Silverstein presents I Am Not No. One man is Josh, guitar in Silverstein band. And he is not no about any sport, but knows lots of stuff about movies. Oh, that's me. Okay. Paul Marc Rousseau, also guitar in a band of Silverstein. Uh, he is very sports knowledge guy and not having much knowledge of movies at all. Tonight. Tonight. The first sport I'd like you to tell me about, Josh, is um, we'll start with an easy one. How about, uh, let's start with basketball. <laughs> that is an easy one. Half the uh, description is right in the name. Basketball, right? Obviously there's a ball involved. It's a ball sport. I am able to know that. Uh, uh, I believe there is some sort of basket and you, I think the object of the game is you put the ball in the basket and try and carry that on your back to your Nana's house uh, while you're going over for tea and scrumpets. And uh, if a uh, uh, opposing team member catches you on the way, you have to relinquish the basket containing the ball, and they try to get to their nanas instead. Not even close. No? Ah. <laughs> okay, well then, Mr. Smart Pants, how about you tell me a little bit about a movie, hmm, The NeverEnding Story. See, this is a trick question because it's still going on. And I'm never gonna know the end and neither will you. But if I could be so bold as to suggest that it contains a man and he has a goal and his goal is to get to a place where there's a certain thing that he wants and it's probably made of gold. And when he arrives, he needs, a, he needs something, there's a problem, and he needs a thing to help him with it, and it's a magic thing, because it seems like a kind of magic-y movie, so it's a magic, like a stone or a dog, and so he finds a magic, I'm sorry, I'm thinking about dogs, so we've seen so many dogs, okay, he's, like, he's got this magic dog and he rides it all the way there to the golden ring. That is almost entirely correct. So one nothing me. Next up, because I loved that last one right over the plate, which yeah. is a sports reference you might not know yeah. about. Uh, like right over the dinner plate. <laughs> yeah. You missed uh, my plate. How am I supposed to eat? Okay. Uh, this next sport we're going to talk, be talking about tonight is, uh, let's try horse jumping. Ah, <laughs> another easy one. Obviously, I'm familiar with horse jumping. I was a big fan of daredevils growing up. I liked their stylish jumpsuits. And I've seen Evil Knievel jump his motorbike over many lined up of horses. And uh, I think he crashed a couple times, maybe broke some ribs, maybe a femur or tibia. Fibia, don't know. Yeah, this is in bone knowledge hour. Let's oh, do well, I do have many bone knowledges. Perhaps we should change the name <laughs> of the game. Anyhow, yes, I believe uh, sports of horse jumping is just like that when you jump over a lot of horses on a motorcycle for your fans. Mm hmm. Bonus question. Okay. World record amount of horses jumped by one man? I think 125 horsepower. Um, <laughs> was the number of horses' powers that were jumped. Sure. I think we're gonna accept that as an answer somehow. All right then. Now back to uh, movies, right. Uh, let's go with the uh, 80s classic uh, Beverly Hills Cop. Yeah, we can do that. Beverly Hills is a place and I know about it. Uh, so when you're there, there's palm trees and there's uh, lots of cool stuff happening. There's fast cars, there's fast times, there's uh, like lots of big ideas out there, you know? That's, uh... So if I remember, and I don't, that the movie is about a policeman who's there and he's got to control all these things. So the palm trees, they steal the cars. <laughs> No, they don't do that. The palm trees are just there. They don't factor into this very much, except for, you know, visually. Um, 
so there's a man, he's a cop, and he, he's got to stop some stuff, man. He's a, there's a bad drugs, probably cocaine is my guess. Beverly Hills, 80s. Cocaine's there, and the cop, he's there. And the cop is played by Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Did we get that? <laughs> you put the noise in later. <laughs> no, they're putting it in later. <laughs> <laughs> You're wrong. Ish. Some things were right, but yeah. Okay, I don't know. That's a hard one because Maybe like, a ding and a buzz at the same time because you're halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool, nice. All right, for the final sport. Hit me with that final sport. I know everything of the sports. Darts is a sport. What is that? Darts. Oh, yeah, no, my grandpa had that at his cottage. I'd go up, visit my, uh, my nana and my pap, pap. <laughs> and uh, you take the things, and you put the circle on the grass, and you throw them in the air, and then they land, hopefully, in the circle, and then you're a winner. Lawn darts. <laughs> I think that's tennis. That's tennis? That's tennis. I tried to play tennis once. It was very <laughs> tiring. If I ever did it again, I'd maybe just go for a half game. Fivus. <laughs> All right, hit me one last time. Okay, uh, one film, last time please. I'll hit you. I'm ready for this one. Uh, okay, well, I know it's on everybody's mind a lot right now, and there's many of them. Uh, maybe you just want to break down even some of the characters that we might be seeing in a movie of Star Wars. I knew this was coming, so I prepared. Ready? <laughs> White bucket guy. Uh, R2D2. Yes. That right? Yes, Ding. that is correct. Ding. Okay. Second, gold man. Another list of letters and numbers. Uh, R. C. C3PO. Ding. That's two. Uh, then you got some more human characters, like um, Indiana Jones is in this movie. What's he called? Doesn't matter, close enough, right? You got him, you got um, Luke Skywalker and his friend. I don't know his friend's name. Chewbacca, that's a Star Wars guy. So they have to be friends because there's a bad man, Darth Vader, who's got a big planet he wants to explode. That about right? And then the, this isn't a game. I've never seen this movie. The, uh, there's a big, Fat, sluggish thing. I don't know what it does. Is it just there? Do they have to shoot it? Do they live with it? Yoda is another character from the movie, and he's got to do a whole lot of stuff. He's in there just making sure that everyone's safe. Give us your best Yoda impression. Just, we'll wrap this up. I think you've mostly got Star Wars, which is nice for not having seen a movie like that. Thanks, Josh. Uh, give us a big Yoda inspirational quote. How do that, how do I? Pretty good. It's pretty good. You've been watching. Wait. You've been watching. What did we call this again? I am not now. Okay. Yeah. You've been watching. I am not no. With Silverstone. We're weird. On APTV. <laughs> Why? Where are you actually looking? I want to look in the same spot. Let's look, um. Ah. It's really hard to see what anything is. Let's look where those two beams cross. Where they cross? 